WCLU news coverage of the 2022 primary election is brought to you in part by HVAC Services in Glasgow. I started out just trying to get a job out of high school, trying to get my foot in the door, trying to get a career started. We try to be a successful business for our employees and a, a long-term employment for our employees. And with this type of trade, and especially with HVAC services, the opportunities are endless. I don't think there's a better company any, anywhere in Kentucky. Welcome to our program today, Mr. Steve Roberts. We're glad to have you a part of our 2022 election coverage here at WCLU. I first welcome to our program today. Yes, thank you. Yes, absolutely. So you're a newcomer and you're running for Magistrate District 3 here in Barron County on the Democratic ticket. So talk a little bit about uh, first, you know, introduce yourself because I know a lot of folks uh, want to know, you know, who, who are these people that are coming on to the political scene? Um, tell us about yourself and we'll get into why you're running. Yes, sir. There seems to be a lot of newcomers coming out this time and I appreciate this opportunity to be here to do this. Uh, I've lived in District 3 for over 25 years. I've been married for over 31 years. I have uh, three children. I have five grandbabies. Uh, I'm retired, so that would make me accessible 24-7 mm -hmm. for any complaints or any calls or any concerns in District 3. And anything that I do, I'll be transparent on anything uh, most all the meetings are publicized. If anybody has any uh, questions, uh, my number will be available. Uh, for, feel free to call. Uh, my objectives uh, for running for master is, first of all, is listen to people. Uh, their concerns, if we got a road problem, tile problem, water problem, that would be a big interest of mine to see if I could help accommodate those people. Uh, and also the roads. Uh, they do a good job at this time. The County Road Barn, I think, does an excellent job. They grade the roads. They try to keep everything as good a shape as they can. But they, they need people to tell them what's going on or, or where there's a problem at. As, uh, as time goes along, uh, as this thing gets started, I'll work closely with any of the magistrates, also the County Judge Executive, uh, to help keep everything in Barron County the best of our ability to as, as good shape. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, in, to make this community a whole lot better place to live, if everybody would get along, even if you're a Democrat or Republican, it doesn't matter about that, you need to be able to get together and work and figure everything out. Now, in closing, uh, I will do the best that I can to be productive in my job. and that I will, again, I know I'm getting repetitious, but I'll work with everybody on both party lines, it doesn't matter to me, and also the county judge. And respectfully, I would greatly appreciate anybody's vote that would see fit to vote for me. Right. Well, Steve, you know, you mentioned a little bit, uh, of course, here in Glasgow and even in Cave City, as far as the, the legislative bodies go, if you will, uh, they are nonpartisan by nature, but county government, there's still a partisan um, attachment to it. Um, obviously, you know, folks have to file with a party on their on their name. Um, obviously, the district you're running for has been held uh, by Republican Carl Dickerson for a number of years. Um, and, you know, just, and all I'm saying is I just wanted to mention, you know, you mentioned about um, the party line is not exactly something to cause divisiveness. Uh, but leading into that question, how do you feel like moving forward um, the court ought to operate you know, with, with the other legislative bodies in the community? Well, in, in all legislative bodies, uh, everybody, some people decide, well, I'm just going to stay with the Republican ticket or the Democrat ticket. I feel you ought to have a little diversity in your life and, and decide if you, you know, the best candidate for the job that would be competent, that would get the job done. And I respect Carl Dixon to no end. He's done a fantastic job. Uh, to look at his record, nobody would ever file against him. So it's um, that he decided he wasn't going to file anymore. And that, at this time, that's the reason there's two Democrats and two Republicans running in a primary for the magistrate in District 3. Now, as far as uh, getting things done, 
he was very competent in getting things done and he wasn't bashful in the court system. He, he called, in my opinion, he called it the way it was and tried to get things done and he did. He accomplished a lot of things through his years and through his term. District 3 specifically, for folks that don't know, that comprises the southeastern part of the county, is that correct? Uh, that is correct, sir. It usually, the main roads are Highway 90 East, the Roseville Road, and the Temple Hill Road. Just moving into that role, perhaps, if you were elected, uh, what are some things, you know, holistically, we could focus on your district, but holistically, what are some accomplishments you'd like to see for the county um, as a whole? You know, you did mention just, some roads and things like that. But just recently, they, uh, uh, the state took Temple Hill Road and ditched that whole road up through there and wound up, uh, that kept the water running on the road, the flood access. And I looked for any other places. And what you've got to keep in mind, uh, the rural areas is a big concern. All the little smaller roads, they have ditch line problems, and all that needs to be addressed. And also blacktop uh, on the roads, bridges repaired, tiles repaired, anything. And it also through the incumbent weather, as it snows, to make sure that the drivers know the routes exactly. And I know they're very competent people. But they just need, sometimes, hey, can you catch this road over here sometime when you're driving through and help get the snow off of it? Uh, basically, it comes back to being transparent and be able to talk to people and for people to call you and communicate with you and let you know where there is a problem. Sure. When we talk about uh, things that uh, would maybe define this election cycle uh, for Glasgow, Barron County as a whole, you know, we think about industry recruitment. Um, there are some things going on currently, you know, the building of an industrial park, trying to recruit industry. There's also some work being done, um, you know, in, in development of the ag sector as well. Barron County has a huge agricultural sector that is very uh, pertinent to the economy here in this county and the state as a whole. Uh, what are some things, maybe you're not a farmer by trade or by, by nature, but um, you know, your district, specifically District 3, that southeastern part of the county, is a very uh, rural part of the county. So what are some prospects you might have for the ag sector? There are several opportunities for farmers uh, that's being negotiated at this time in Frankfurt. Uh, one is they're trying to get medical marijuana. They have a bill up there they're trying to get it passed. Again, that's left up to Frankfurt. And as we all know what happens next after that, if they get medical marijuana, somebody will try to get legalized marijuana. Uh, that's not my call, and I'm not going to say either way on that. Uh, also, the farmers have been hit hard in the milking community, and I understand that. But the, they need resources or some type of uh, crop or some industry that would help them to build back. Right. Well, anything that I didn't touch on today, I know you mentioned several aspects of, of why you're running. Um, you know, the, the question that I always like to finalize with is if you had 30 seconds to tell folks why you uh, should be elected to District 3 Magistrate, uh, what would you say? For the, the 30 seconds you allowed me to say is that I would be very competent in my job and I'd be very responsible and also I would listen to people that have concerns that would want something addressed. Also, everything would be transparent in the court system. Uh, and again, I would work with county judge and all the magistrates in the county to be productive in my job. All right, excellent. Well, we appreciate you, Mr. Steve Roberts, candidate for District 3 Magistrate in Barron County on the Democratic ticket uh, this spring in the May primary. Uh, thank you and good luck. And thank you, and I would appreciate everybody's vote. Thank you.